Everyone's got their own story of growing up and all the challenges that go with it. But I have yet to encounter another true coming of age tale that's as poignantly told as this week's pick. Growing up in the pre-civil rights deep south was no picnic for Maya. Hers was a world of racism and fear of lynch mobs and everything else that was just part of being an African American in 1930s Arkansas. Worse, as a child, Maya didn't just feel inferior to whites. She even struggled to believe herself beautiful and worthy among members of her own race. But in spite of these impediments and, reader beware, a horrifying episode of sexual abuse early on, Maya's childhood world was peopled with folks who cared deeply about Maya and her potential. You'll love Maya's stern but big-hearted grandma, and you'll wish for an adult friend like Mrs. Bertha Flowers who gives Maya books of poetry that help her find her voice. And that, actually, is what Maya Angelou's autobiography, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, is really all about. For Maya, as perhaps for all of us, finding her voice happens by degrees. But find it she does, learning to thrive emotionally, socially, and academically. When we leave Maya, all isn't perfect in her world, but she's overcome significant obstacles, and now she sings.